Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. So it's time for guild battles again. Um, I actually I actually messed around too hard because I was I was letting you know I'm I don't I don't want to sound like I'm uh, patting myself on the back or anything when I say this, but like I'm I'm actually a really nice guy, <laughs> um, and I, I I do want my guild to like you know the people that want to are serious like really serious that that. Uh, want to get in on the most possible like damage, you know, most contribution, most points and shit. Um, you know, I, I want to ha let them have a chance to to do everything, and I usually just go in and and do whatever I clean up and stuff um, when I when I really really need to. So I actually missed the guild battle um, during noon time because I was waiting for like a boss to die, someone to to kill it, or or actually I could have could have went killed it, but like. Um, you know, I didn't. I didn't want to waste like a turn because, um, you know, there, there are people that actually want to want to like our guild to be somewhat competitive. So I wanted to, to try and uh, do as much damage as possible. But now, now that a new boss spawned and he's fire, I can definitely do some damage because I, I do have a lot of fire and water monsters and there's like no wood, but I should be able to do a lot of damage to this boss. Um, oh shit. I was supposed to. I was supposed to organize a proper team to fight this boss, um, and talk a little bit about strategy. But I, I'll, I'll talk a little about about strategy anyways. Although I didn't really optimize for for fighting this boss. Um, but the the thing is, you you definitely don't want to go in like when you, you don't want a whole bunch of people to go in at the very very end, right when a boss is about to die, because. Um, the your turns get wasted basically. If someone kills the boss first, you basically waste the whole entire turn. So any damage you do is basically wasted. It does hurt. It hurts you and also hurts the guild in progression because you want to do as much damage to the boss as possible. So there is a there's a trick like a basically just the, the standard strategy for fighting the boss. I didn't actually do it right now because I. Actually, I don't have a lot of monsters that are, that are able to do it. But basically, you put a lot of debuffers on your first team. So your, your first team is basically like full of uh, debuffs. So any like armor break, attack down, anything like that. And then you have a, your, all your nukers basically on your second team. So um, you debuff the boss, armor break him, and then you just nuke. Because um, the, the turn order basically goes your, your left team, right team, then boss. So you definitely just want to do as much damage as possible before you unit die. I think attackers are probably still the best. So you basically just have like armor break, some damage, uh, maybe a little bit of HP to survive like one or two attacks, and then just go full nuke and then you, and do as much damage as possible before the before your <laughs> inevitable death. Because there's no way to really sustain against the boss. He does so much damage. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's. The, the gist of it. That's the basic strategy. You want to see. You went. It went left team, right team, and then boss. Um, and you definitely. I think he attacks your right team first, usually, and then he attacks your left team. So you can put all your nukers on your left team, and this ensures that you at least have two turns to nuke. And now he's gonna atta attack your left team. I think. Yeah, he attacks your left team afterwards. So obviously, if your nukers don't have like one slot um, defense or HP. Then they'll they'll straight out die. But I think what you can do is you can have a t slightly tankier, um, maybe like a still have like half attack. If you're really really optimizing for kill battles, have like debuff, um, but like Jim with like one one attack slot on your on your left team, and then you can go in and then have your right team um, go in afterwards to do as much nukes as possible. And then on his the boss's first turn, he's going to attack your left team, um, so your right team won't be affected. And then um, your right team can go, uh, and then and then your your left and right team will your left team will debuff the boss again. Your right team will do its nuke, and then um, the boss will eventually attack your 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 right team. Um, so if you build full attack, then they'll probably die. But if you went with like one slot defense or one slot HP, then they'll survive, and you can basically. Um, basically go another time uh, like one more turn but they they probably won't survive like a third turn so you basically go in with your left team again and then um, your right team does like one final nuke and then the next turn the boss will have his sweep and he will basically destroy your whole entire team so that's that's probably the end of uh, 
yeah, then that that will end your guild battles. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. That's I think that's the general strategy right now. There probably could be better strategies in the future, like into implementing healers and stuff to um, heal your teams back up and stuff. But I think I think to, in order to do that, you will need to have like um, thirst attack and and attack down to make sure the boss doesn't. Um, I'm not sure if it was thirst. No, fatigue. Yeah, fatigue, not thirst. Um, I get the two confused because they're like really, really similar. Basically, you can put um, fatigue and attack down. But if you're only using like four star, five star monsters, you're probably just gonna kill them all in one turn. So there's really no, really no use. Um, and attack down doesn't even really do that much to the boss. It still does insane amounts of damage. So I think the most important thing is. Is just armor break, um, nuke, armor break again, nuke, and then armor break again, and nuke, and then uh, and then you're dead after that. So I think that's the most you can really do to to the boss. Um, but yeah, I've always all of a sudden I became number one in my rankings. So I think I do have quite a few um, pretty strong nukers, pretty strong monsters. I think nukers are definitely the way to go for for the for the boss raid in general. Um, I'm probably not, like for most people, it's probably not really a good idea to really focus on the raids unless you already have like a, a golem team, a dragons team and everything like that because it's probably more beneficial for your progression to work on golems first and stuff. And you can literally use any monster against the boss, it doesn't it doesn't really matter that much. Um, you will still be able to, to contrib do um, contribution and, and hit the boss, you know, quite a lot. So. That's, I think that's pretty much it. Um, we will be able to hit him one more time, but these are all just throwaway trash monsters, so they're all basically going to die in one turn. I don't have enough monsters to actually do the guild battles. You will need 46 monsters, which is actually quite a lot, so... Um, yeah, I think I think definitely in the future. I, I don't think there's... The, 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 raid, the actual boss or guild raid um, is meant to be like a is meant to be strategic. Well, it could be strategic, but there's not really that much you can do in terms of strategy against the boss. It's literally just have as many strong monsters as possible, and the people with the more six stars will obviously do more damage. Um, the strategy will really only come into play once people have like a full team of like 46 um, six stars, and at that point, then um, you know, rearranging those six stars and making a proper team will get your team the, the highest amount of damage. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm about to end it here. He's about to end me. One more attack, and I'm gone. But yeah, so armor break on first team, and uh, nukes on second team. That's basically it. Alright, GG. That's that's the uh, end of my guild battles, and that's pre pretty much what I, what I learned so far. Um, for, for guild battles for today, um, I think I, I don't know. I I got bored of making like arena videos, so I I mean I think arena is still more fun. Um, but guild battles, since it's new right now, I decided to make a few videos covering it. Yep, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh wait, 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 one sec, one sec. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Like that was the false alarm, false alarm. Um. People were asking like resistance and stuff for most of my monsters. I'll very very quickly just click through my monsters so you can see their stats. If you want to pause the video at any point, you can see them. But for most of my monsters, I didn't really focus on resistance. Some of them happen to have high resistance, like my Dark Victoria and stuff. But most of them really don't have high resistance. So, um, yeah, and a lot of these monsters don't even have gens. So they're just basically random throwaway monsters. Like all the monsters down here don't have any gens at all. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's the that's the all all my monsters gems. I didn't really focus really on resistance. Um, some of them just happen to have high resistance, with the exception of my sapper team. My sapper team does have pretty high resistance over the uh, overall, but it's still it's still pretty negligible. Like it's it's like 60%, which is you know it's decent, but it's not like super super good. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.